are things at DMG Mori at the moment? Well, they've been pretty good. I mean, you know, there's a lot of nervousness in the, in the marketplace in respects of what's happening with Europe. Um, MAC was a, was a big event. Uh, it brought a lot of customers out, more than we've had in previous years. Very, very, very successful for us. And we've continued with that, which is quite surprising because machine tools can have bit peaks and troughs. But I think that's the barometer about where the investment is. I, I, I'm, you know, I'm afraid to say that what is in the papers is probably not all what's really happening. There is some really good, positive things out there. And that's where we're seeing the activity. So you haven't seen a dip in sales or inquiries since the Brexit? No, absolutely reverse, which is, is unusual. Um, but actually, if you look at the PMI last month, it was up. If you look at other business opportunities, it's up. Unfortunately, you see on the front page that we're all going to go into a massive recession. That is not the case. You're not the only one to say this as well. There's two or three machine tool companies that have, you know, would say exactly the same. Since the Brexit vote, they've still sold machines. They've still seen new inquiries. And their engineers, their users have not had a dip in their workload. So it's all looking good. It's looking great. I mean, obviously, we've got a problem with the pound against uh, either the, um, the yen or against the euro. But actually, the customers that are exporting, it's huge gains for them. And a number of customers have remarked on that, not really said that's a big problem to them. At the moment, we're absorbing some of those costs. So as a big organisation, we're capable of doing that and using a treasury type application around the world. And that can offset that difference as well. So business as usual. I always find the innovation with you guys a big part of the drive of your success. That, that's obviously going to continue and is continuing. Yeah, absolutely. 650 R&D staff thinking about what's going to be coming next. There's a board of uh, directors that actually give focus towards that, look at what industries we should focus into. And, um, you know, the, the goods just keep coming and coming. 12 new machines launched in 2016. OK, and bringing people here must be a big part of your success as well, because you come here, you see these five axis turning centres, mill turn machines. They like coming through the door, don't they? Yeah, it's a big investment for us. We've invested very heavily in the building, uh, but more so in the people and the people that can actually manage the product, make sure the product is demonstrated correctly to the customers. I think the customers have a good day here. You know, we've got the right temperatures going on in hot days like today. It's, it's a great place to come and I'm very privileged to work here. Lovely place, cheers Steve. Thank you very much Paul, appreciate it.